All right, so they're just getting done clicking in. Finally, it was time for the dunker. Now we'd separated into two groups. I was in group two, so I was able to watch and record the first group as they went through their trial in the dunker. And everybody's out. And by the time you get to this final test of the day, you're prepared because of all the training, but everyone makes this last test, the dunker, out to be awful. And from the moment that I signed up for this story and found out that this dunker was a part of the training, I'd been thinking about a scene in the movie, an officer and a gentleman, if you've ever seen it, one of the characters goes through a version of the dunker and then fails out of flight school because he can't do it. And I ought to also say that my dad had gone through this as a Navy pilot back in the 50s, and he had talked about it as well, though he, uh, he survived it just fine. So now it's my turn. They're lowering the machine into the water, and we swim over and get on board, and my GoPro is recording everything, even under the water, as they strap us in. Camera's going under here shortly. So there's my teammates. Alright, sir, so you're just gonna grab this one right here. Yeah. This is gonna clip in all your buckles. Okay. Okay. Which way does this thing roll? Uh, the heaviest size. So it's probably going to be our side. So it's going to roll towards yeah, so you. you're going to go over the top. Oh, great. I get to go over the top. You get more air. Yeah. Oh, well, I get more air. I didn't yeah. think of it that way. I wear my helmet. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, since the machine is moving with the camera, you really don't get a sense of being upside down in this video as we roll over. But trust me, it certainly feels like it when you're there. Now, I was on the high side, falling over the journalists in front of me. And then once we were upside down, I twisted the release from my harness. This time it worked easily, unlike my time in the dunk chair. And at this point, it's really just a matter of pulling yourself through the window and then swimming to the surface. Uh, all right, man. That's the last time I got to see that thing. <laughs> that was cool. WSLS News 10 Chief Photographer Lee Friesland was there. He was recording on the side of the pool. So you'll see more of the action in the actual TV story that airs on 10 News. But I gotta tell you, I was just happy to now have survived this day of training. And I literally was now qualified to go through the rest of the activities that the Navy had planned for us in the coming days. Those activities would include flying in a Navy helo and being able to look down and see all the aircraft carriers at uh, the Norfolk Naval Base. And then the next day we'd be landing on an aircraft carrier and catching the wire and actually living on board the ship for 24 hours. So a lot more to come.